Before connecting to MongoDB server externally, we need to create at least one user in the MongoDB admin database. Let's do this. I have prepared file called db.createUser. It is attached to this lesson. And here is the MongoDB command that will create admin user with a password, in this case secure password. Please replace it with another password you want. And this admin user will have a root role and it will be created in admin database. This admin user will have full access to MongoDB server. Let's create it. You need to connect to your server via SSH. I'm already connected. And then open Mongo shell using Mongo command. So now I am in Mongo shell. You can use CLS to clear terminal in Mongo shell. Here it is. First, you need to switch to admin database. Just type use admin and enter. And now you see switched to db admin. Then go to notepad and copy this db.createUser command. Copy it, go back to terminal and paste and press enter. And you see result successfully added user, user admin and roles. Now you can issue show users command and you will see same result. So admin user is created in admin database. Here is a username and here is database. After creation of MongoDB admin user, you need to enable authorization on the MongoDB server. In order to do this, you need to edit MongoDB configuration file. So let's exit MongoDB shell, then clear terminal, and then sudo nano etc mongod conf. So here is location of MongoD configuration file and enter. Then scroll down to the security section. Here it is, security. Uncomment this line, so remove hash sign. And on the next line, enter authorization, enabled. And just Ctrl X, save file and exit. And now you need to restart MongoD service. So sudo service mongod restart. Okay, now all is set and you can try to connect to MongoDB server from your computer. Let's do this next. See you.